This is a blender tip for creating these hazard patterns that you're going to see in sci-fi, in construction sites, uh, in um, toys, and stuff like that. So it's very simple to, uh, to do these, and they're procedural, so they're all done within Blender. I mean, you can get images and use images. Uh, however, uh, I'm going to show you how to do it procedurally. All right, so let's do this. Uh, let's create a plane in Rotate X90. Rotate Y45, and with the vertices selected, Shift Control B to bevel, pull, and I'm going to put in five to do it like that. Select everything, zoom in nice and close, press I to inset and pull in. Just don't have them crossing over. So we have something like this. Okay. Now we're going to create a material, first material, and I'm going to call this block. And we will make it black. Don't do it. Don't pull it all the way down. Go all almost down to the bottom. All right. And we can come over and look at it here. And we can play with the lighting, whatever we want. Here, I'll turn it like this a little bit. Okay. Uh, I like to add a little bit of metallic. I know these signs are usually metallic, but I don't like to have it full metallic uh, in this particular case. We'll do that, we'll turn the roughness down. And sometimes I'll even put a little bit of clear coat, like 0 0.25 or something like that. Okay, on with the pattern now. So we have this area selected. So we'll come to the materials tab again and add a second material on there, new. And I'm gonna call this checkers. Okay, now we're gonna go over the shading tab, but just before I do that, I'm going to UV unwrap this just by pressing U unwrap, and that's it. Okay, over to the shadings tab. Shading tab, whatever. Here we go. Shift A, texture, checker texture. Drop that down there, and then press Control T, and that will add a texture coordinate and mapping node. I think you need the node wrangler enabled for that. You probably already do. Switch this to UV. And over here, Shift A, Converter, Color Ramp. Drag the color into here. And we'll drag this around the middle and the white right beside it, nice and close. And we'll change the white to a yellowish color and then plug that in like this. And then over in the materials, make sure that we click Assign to assign that pattern to there. All right, you can then play with the scale if you want bigger or smaller checkers or more checkers looking like that. Let's go back into object mode. And there's your basic checker, checker pattern. If you want, you can come back to here and select this outer edge. You can scale it a bit bigger like that. You can control R to put an edge loop in there and then control B to bevel that and pull and just have the two segments and roll back to zero, do that. And then create another material, new. And what we'll do is we will, maybe you wanna use this color here, control C. And control V and put that in there. And that, that sometimes looks a little nicer. Okay, so that's how you can make that checker pattern on whatever shape that, that you want. All right, let's take that and move that out of the way. And let's do one more. Bring it a plane, rotate it 90 degrees. I'll scale it down a little bit and scale it in the Z. I want a standing up kind of uh, rectangle. I was gonna say ovation, that, that'd be nice. <laughs> Select those points and control B. Let's bevel those as well with five. Select it. We're going to do the same kind of thing. Inset a little bit like this. All right, come over here. Choose that black. All right, and then we're going to come over here. Add a new material. Call it stripes. We'll click assign, but we'll also you unwrap. All right, good. Shading tab now. Working on the stripe section, shift A, texture, 
wave texture this time. Control T, switch this to UV. And let's go back and take this color ramp here under checkers. Take that and Control C. All right, we'll come back in here and Control V, just paste it in so it'll be exactly the same. Drag that to there and drag the color in here and you can see what we're starting to get and we're going to switch the rotation of the Z to either 45 or I like minus 45 for this and you can see that and then you can adjust the scale I'm going to bring this down try two see if we like that all right I'm going to bring the metallic up again I'm going to bring the roughness down let's go just to zero point three so we have that and if we wanted to we could do the same kind of a thing we could select this outer one s to scale pull it out and if it goes more in the z than in the x just go sx pull it out a little bit there it's not a big deal control r control b pull it out give yourself a little bit of a space come back to the materials add a new material and just grab that yellow I could call that yellow and then make sure to assign this is actually a little bit too much uh, for me so I'm going to go back to the stripes and I might try either 1.5 I think I like that a little bit better all right very easy to do procedural as you can see you can change it very easily and that is it. Now, I will probably model something and use these uh, in the next modeling session. So hopefully that's helpful to you.